Hey guys, today I want to show you how to do rounded corners like these on any shape in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and down where we don't have the Adobe CC features. So if we want to use this technique, we have to do one important setting first before drawing anything. So go to window and open up your transform panel. Then find the transform panel down here and go to this menu right here. And you have to disable align new objects to pixel grid. If it is enabled, it can cause some aligning issue later. Now you can draw your shape. For this example, I will use a rectangle. So there's a few ways to do this. If you want all corners rounded at once, it's really simple. But if you want only specific corners rounded, it can be a little more tricky. I'll show you how to do both. So if we just want to round all the corners, you can simply just go to Effect, go to Stylize and go to Round Corners. From here you can check Preview and choose the radius you want and click OK. But if you want specific corners rounded, we will have to use another technique. So let's get back to the sharp corners. So now, if we only want this corner rounded, we will have to separate this corner from the rest of the shape. We are doing this with the scissor tool. And the scissor tool is located underneath the eraser tool. So choose the scissor tool. Now we need to cut this corner from the rest of the shape. For the best result, we have to cut from the same distance to the corner from each side. So if you can, the easiest way is to cut from the anchor points, right here and right here. This is just a buck. And as you see, now the shape is split into two lines. So now let's select the line with the corner we want to round. Note that only this line is selected, as you can see. So now go to Effects, go to Stylize and go to Round Corners. And as before, click Preview and choose the radius you want and click OK. So now we need to join the lines again to turn it back to a shape. So select both the lines. So here's the tricky part. Because we rounded the corners with an effect, if we just join the strokes together, the effect will apply to every corner. So let's try this. Click Ctrl J to join, and as you see, the effect will just apply to all the corners. And we don't want that. So go back. We want to turn this effect into the actual path. So with the lines selected, go to Object, and go to Expand Appearance. And now as you see, the path follow the curve right here. So now we can join the lines by selecting both lines and clicking Ctrl J. 